Hello everyone and welcome! A new version of our FC01 front suspension and steering assembly is now available and in today's video I'm going to be giving you a quick update on it and showcase some of the new parts, so let's dive right in. The first new part I want to talk about is a new wider frame piece. This piece is designed to match the width of our wider 57mm MA10 rear axle assemblies. For wider bodies, this new frame piece should be a great choice. This frame is designed to mount to any 60mm width FFR SC1 chassis, so it should be easy to incorporate it into your RC projects. Now remember, if you'll be making your own chassis, whether hand building or 3D printing, we do have some frame options that are designed to be used with custom built chassis. In addition to the new frame piece, the first batch of optional parts is now available, which are these disc brake calipers and rotors. Just like with the suspension parts, make sure that the parts marked with an R go on the right hand side of the vehicle and the parts marked with an L go on the left hand side. There are two different versions of these brakes, a basic version and a detailed version. They're both the same size and have the same basic design, however, as you could probably guess, one has more small details than the other. The basic parts are best for FDM printing, while the detailed parts would be best printed on a SLA printer. Installation is very simple. Just slide the rotor onto the axle with the little lip here facing the bearings prior to threading on the wheel mount. Then glue the caliper piece to the knuckle. Make sure the rotor and caliper do not touch when the axle is rotating. The caliper is designed to have a fairly wide opening to give the rotor plenty of room, and also the rotor is somewhat thick to make it easy to print and also very durable. I am tempted though to make a smaller version of this brake assembly with a thinner rotor and smaller caliper, maybe also a little smaller outer diameter so it'll fit some smaller wheels. Of course this would be more difficult to print, and there would be less wiggle room between the rotor and caliper, but if that's something you would be interested in, let me know. A couple of things to note if you'll be adding these brakes to your assembly. First, adding these does increase the track width since the wheel mounts are pushed further out by having the rotor in place. Second, not every wheel will fit with these brakes in place. Only some larger diameter wheels will work. It's a really good idea to do a quick mock-up before gluing anything into place. Other changes to the FC01 include minor tweaks, fixes, and subtle adjustments, but what I've just shown you here are the highlights. There's still much more in the works, which I'm looking forward to sharing with all of you in a future video, but right now version 0.2 is up on Patreon, ready for you to start your build. Of course the link is below in the description. As always, for any questions, suggestions, or ideas you have, please feel free to send us a message on Patreon, we're always happy to help and really appreciate all your ideas and input. Best of luck with your projects, and as always, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.